My name is Alexandra Matvichuk. I'm Human Rights Defender at the Center for Civil Liberties. We are documenting war crimes in this war, which Russia started in 2014 and expanded in 2022. Russian aggression resulted in numerous war crimes and suffering of millions of people in Ukraine. But it's also a threat to the whole Europe, because it's not just a war between two states, it's a war between two systems, authoritarianism and democracy. I live in Kiev, and my city, as many other Ukrainian cities, are constantly being shelled by Russian rockets and Iranian drones. If authoritarian regimes like Russia and Iran cooperate with each other, people from different countries who support freedom have to help each other even more. Cooperation between people in Ukraine and Bosnia is very essential during the war and very important after the war. Because we face with a lot of similar challenges and we can cooperate, exchange ideas, know-hows and practices, how to face it with our past, how to use the best memorialization methods, how to establish a proper healing process on the individual and collective levels. And together, supporting each other, we can achieve much more on all these fronts. And the War Childhood Museum is a bright example of such possible cooperation. We live in a very interconnected world, and there are a lot of things which has no limitation in national borders. Human pain is one of such things as well as human solidarity. We are fighting for freedom, and in our interconnected world, the only spread of freedom make our world safer.